Well, here I am in the attic. I'm installing a vent fan for the bathroom here. Cutting a hole in this gypsum board, the ceiling, uh, was quite easy. And I need to cut a vent hole in the wall over there. But on the other side of the wall is stucco. So it's like stone. I can't use a regular hole saw. So what I'm going to do is use a special saw for concrete. So I'm going to start by drilling a quarter inch pilot hole from inside so I know exactly where um, I want the hole to be. The duct that I want to route to the outside is four inches. So you would think by math that I only need to drill uh, the center of this two inches off the, this deck here. But a four inch duct is not really four inches. It's really a little bit more plus the clamp and everything. So I'm going to drill instead of two inches, I'm going to go maybe four inches up from this bottom to leave myself some wiggle room. Now I'm going to start with this ordinary, this is just like a regular general purpose, I think it's a titanium nitride bit, just a wood bit. I'm going to go for like a quarter inch or so, just enough to get through this wood, whatever, this fiberboard masonite, I don't know what it is. It's this siding thing. But as soon as I hit stone, I'm going to change the bit to this masonry bit and this will drill through the concrete, the stucco that is. Well, I see some daylight, so it must have made it through. Let me go see what's on the other side. Okay. Yep, that's definitely the hole. The masonry bit went right through there. No trouble at all. So originally my thought was, well, I'll be cheap about it and then I'll just drill a whole bunch of these holes with the masonry bit in a circle and knock it out with a hammer because who cares, right? It's going to be covered by a plate. It doesn't have to look nice. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe I could get a grit blade for maybe four, five dollars and I could saw out using a jigsaw or a sawzall or, you know, reciprocating saw. Um, a nice circle, but I found something better over at Lowe's. Lowe's was the only place that had it. Oh, okay, looks looks nice. Um, comes with a uh, arbor. Uh, looks like this this part over here. This is 3 8 but that's okay because most drills nowadays are 3 8 Glad I don't have a quarter inch drill. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see this. Oh, well, looks like it's already got some kind of grease on it. Here's the cutting, cutting part over here. This. Um, there's some teeth. Looks like there's eight eight teeth that come out and they have um, I would guess some kind of carborundum or carbide grit on them looks like it's suitable for stone one thing I noticed about this mandra this arbor though is that this drill in the middle doesn't look like it's suitable for stone looks like this is for wood or something like that but fortunately I already have a pilot hole so I don't care. Now this thing didn't come with instructions as to how to assemble it, but it looks to me, there's two holes here, so I think this screws on this way and then you see when I screw this, these pins pop out over here. So I think these engage into um, these holes and then make the thing spin. At least I hope that's the way it's supposed to work. Alright, so I've attached it. Looks like um, it works that way. The pins are through here and there is actually a little bit of play but I think that's normal. So I'm going to try to use it now.
Well, here's the plug that I drilled out. Looks like the stucco is about half an inch, maybe five sixteenths of an inch thick, which is good because this hole saw looks like it could only drill maybe about an inch deep, I would guess. I'm estimating. Actually, I didn't go all the way through. I got through the stucco, and now I'm against that backer board or siding or whatever is underneath it. But that's okay because I can now um, drill from the other side and should be no problem. Okay, original plug. Here's a second drilling. Looks like this is just some, it's almost like a bulletin board or something. It's a really soft material, whatever it is. Okay, so that's the four inch hole. Well, I've skipped over all the other connection of the duct and electrical connections and whatever. That's all boring stuff. Attach the vent to the wall. But anyway, so there it is. Okay, can you turn it on? Yep, it works.